Oranges, and most fruits, good and bad for diabetes, can it cause fatty liver? Oranges, like many fruits, have both positive and potentially challenging aspects for individuals with diabetes. We will discuss about the effect of fructose on non-alcoholic fatty liver, towards the end of the video. It's important to note that the impact of oranges on blood sugar levels can vary from person to person, and it's advisable for individuals with diabetes to consult with their healthcare provider or a registered dietitian for personalized advice. Here are some considerations regarding the good and bad sides of oranges for diabetes. Always consult your healthcare professional before making any changes to your medication or lifestyle. The good. Most of the time if you buy the cheaper oranges on the market, they are likely to be low in sugar, so you have an advantage. Sweet tooth is an acquired habit, you can reverse the habit by adopting less sweet foods in stages. After a while, you will feel the sweetness even if you eat very little sweet foods. Rich in fiber, oranges are a good source of dietary fiber, which can be beneficial for individuals with diabetes. Fiber helps slow down the absorption of sugars, leading to more gradual increases in blood sugar levels. Vitamins and antioxidants, oranges are packed with essential vitamins, particularly vitamin C, and antioxidants. These nutrients play a crucial role in overall health, supporting the immune system and reducing inflammation. Low glycemic index, oranges have a relatively low glycemic index GI, which means they have a milder impact on blood sugar levels compared to high GI foods. This can be advantageous for individuals with diabetes in managing their blood glucose levels. The bad. Natural sugars, oranges contain natural sugars, including fructose. While these sugars are not as detrimental as added sugars, they can still contribute to an increase in blood sugar levels. It's important for individuals with diabetes to be mindful of their carbohydrate intake, including natural sugars. Portion control, consuming large quantities of any fruit, including oranges, can potentially lead to a rapid increase in blood sugar levels. Portion control is key, and it's recommended to enjoy oranges in moderation. Individual variability, the impact of oranges on blood sugar levels can vary among individuals. Factors such as metabolism, insulin sensitivity, and overall diet play a role. Some people may be able to tolerate oranges well, while others may experience a more significant impact on their blood sugar. Tips for including oranges in a diabetes-friendly diet. Portion size, consume oranges in moderation and be mindful of portion sizes to manage carbohydrate intake. Fructose good and bad sides. Fructose is a natural sugar found in many fruits, including oranges. While fructose is a natural component of whole fruits and is generally considered healthier than added sugars, it still has some considerations, especially for individuals with diabetes. Here are some aspects to be mindful of regarding the presence of fructose in oranges. Impact on blood sugar levels. Fructose has a lower glycemic index compared to glucose, which means it has a milder impact on blood sugar levels. However, consuming large amounts of fructose, even from natural sources like oranges, can contribute to an increase in blood sugar. It's important for individuals with diabetes to be mindful of portion sizes to avoid significant spikes in blood glucose. Potential for overconsumption, while whole fruits like oranges contain beneficial nutrients and fiber, consuming excessive amounts can still contribute to a higher overall sugar intake. This is particularly relevant for individuals who may eat large quantities of fruits in an attempt to boost their intake of vitamins and minerals. Fructose metabolism in the liver, unlike glucose, which is metabolized throughout the body, fructose is primarily metabolized in the liver. Excessive fructose intake has been associated with potential negative effects on liver health, such as fatty liver disease. However, it's crucial to note that the fructose content in whole fruits is generally well tolerated, especially when consumed as part of a balanced diet. Individual variability, each person's response to fructose can vary. Some individuals may tolerate fructose well, while others may need to be more cautious. Factors such as insulin sensitivity, overall diet, and individual metabolism play a role in how the body processes fructose. Tips for managing fructose intake from oranges. Moderation is key, enjoy oranges in moderation. Stick to recommended serving sizes to manage the intake of fructose and overall carbohydrates. 
Whole fruits over fruit juices. Whole fruits contain fiber, which helps slow down the absorption of sugars, including fructose. Opt for whole oranges instead of fruit juices, which can concentrate sugars and lack fiber. Pair with protein or fiber, combining oranges with a source of protein or fiber can help mitigate the impact on blood sugar levels. This combination promotes a more gradual release of sugars into the bloodstream. Regular monitoring. Individuals with diabetes should monitor their blood sugar levels regularly to understand how different foods, including oranges, affect their individual metabolism. Pair with protein or healthy fats. Combining oranges with a source of protein or healthy fats can help balance the overall glycemic impact of the meal. Whole fruit over juice. Opt for whole oranges instead of orange juice. Whole fruits contain fiber, which slows down the absorption of sugars. Regular blood sugar monitoring. Individuals with diabetes should monitor their blood sugar levels regularly to understand how different foods, including oranges, affect them personally. In summary, oranges can be part of a diabetes-friendly diet when consumed in moderation and as part of a well-balanced meal plan. However, individual responses to oranges may vary. It's essential for those with diabetes or fatty liver to work with healthcare professionals to tailor their dietary choices to their specific needs. Do not forget to click the like button and subscribe. Thanks very much for watching this video. Up above you see a video related to health. It will be more helpful to you and your family. Subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video.